So now let's load RMX into the session. I'm going to click on the triangle here, go down to the I.O. section, click and hold, and I can choose between stereo and multi-channel. Now the stereo version is going to allow me to route the output of RMX to a single stereo track within Logic, while the multi-channel version will allow me to route the output of individual grooves to auxiliary tracks within Logic. Don't confuse multi-timbral with multi-channel. Both the stereo and multi-channel versions are multi-timbral. Multi-timbrality just refers to the fact that you can control RMX with up to eight different MIDI channels within Logic. For now, let's choose the stereo version of the plugin. Choose AU Instruments, Spectrosonics, then Stylus RMX. Here's the plugin. If this is your first time using RMX, you will need to authorize it. If you have problems with this, please consult the reference guide or the authorization tutorial video for further assistance. So the first thing we need to do is set up RMX multi-timbrally within Logic. I'm going to move to my environment window. You can see Stylus RMX is on the input of this instrument track. We're just going to rename that to Stylus RMX. I'm now going to come over here, grab my arrow tool, and change the MIDI channel to All by clicking and dragging down. Now I'm going to go up to the New menu, choose Multi-Instrument. There it is. I'm going to now rename this immediately to RMX. Go back and grab my arrow tool. I'm going to cable this to the Stylus RMX track, and we do want to remove. I'm now going to grab the MIDI tool and click 1 through 8. When I'm finished, I'll click back on 1. I'm now going to move to the Arrange page. Here we can see our RMX1 track. We now want to create up to a total of 8 tracks that are going to communicate with RMX. So I'm going to come up to the Track menu, choose Create with Next Instrument. And now I want to create 6 more tracks using my key command, Apple Shift Enter. Lastly, I want to come down here to Instrument 2, click and hold. Choose Audio, Audio Instrument, and then at the bottom choose Stylus RMX. Now we have our Stylus RMX master track on the Arrange page. If I bring back RMX on the window, I'm now going to load a multi that I've created before this demo. Let's hear what this sounds like. Okay, so now that we've heard what the multi sounds like, Let's verify that the eight tracks we've created in our Logic song correspond to the eight different parts within RMX. I have a keyboard in front of me which I can use to trigger MIDI and to verify this connection. With RMX1 highlighted, it's going to trigger part one in RMX, as you can see right there. If I move to RMX2, it's going to trigger part two, RMX3, part three, RMX4, part four. So now let's drag and drop MIDI files into our Logic song. I'm not going to click on the folder to go to the browser page for part one. Here's our drag and drop area. I'm going to click and drag into the Logic song. I'm going to do the same for parts two through four. So we've now dragged all four MIDI files into the Logic song. I'm going to select all and then loop. Bring back RMX on the window. Go to the mixer page. And as I began playback in Logic, the MIDI data will trigger the plugin.